genocide doesn't happen overnight, but it's through processes, right? And these processes facilitate for genocide to happen. The first thing that it talks about is the idea of classification. As human beings, we like to categorize ourselves, right? Because that is easy. That's the way in which we develop a sense of identity and a sense of belonging. And then from there, you know, there's classification. After classification, there's symbolization because we see what makes you different from the other, right? What makes you different from Jesh, right? And then after that, you know, we have pluralization where we say not only are we different, right? But there's something that, that, there's something that makes it that both of us can actually work together, right? And then through that, we also have a, a process of discrimination, right? Where we say, oh, you know, there's something because Jesh is short, Right? That means that there are certain things that you can't do and we make it a law or we make it almost like a normal belief. Then from there there's dehumanization. Dehumanization is when you no longer see the other as a human being, but you see them as some sort of animal disease. Right? In Rwanda Tutsis were called cockroaches. What do you do to a cockroach? You step on it, you crush it. Right? Because I believe there's something about us human beings that make it that we can't do harm to another human being without first dehumanizing them. And then you know, there's preparation. Right, when we start in, in Germany, it's when they started putting like stars on, on Jews' houses, and, and in Rwanda is when they started making a list of who comes, oh, you know, the, the Tutsis. And then there's, there's the, you know, the, the, the part where actually arms are taken up and people are killed. That's seventh stage. And then there's denial. Now, my question is if you're honest, you'll find that a lot of those processes, you find them every single place in this world. As long as there's two human beings, you always find all these processes. Now, it would never be as bad as in Rwanda, but what happens is that it is happening every place. 